All right, if you have seen the previous video, which I don't think you probably saw it because it was a long video and I went into detail. So if you have the time, you can go and watch it and you will learn a bunch of stuff. Now, while doing that video, I realized that there was something that it's not quite great and it definitely affects your workflow or anybody's workflow. So I built something that will help you and will help everybody. And this is called Better Shapes. Why? Well, because these are just better shapes. So this is what it looks like, basically. I just created a tool mixing all the different shapes so that they are all a little bit more like After Effects where you bring the shape and you can adjust the fill and then you can also adjust the border within that same element let's call this so i added all those elements right here as you can see here the shape control you have the position control you have the border controls and then you also have this styling so if i press two on these then we can see that we can change the inside color can change the border color you can also adjust the actual border itself if you don't want it to have any or if you wanted to have some you can also adjust the border like this like cutting it out i guess you could call these and adjust all the different elements and they're all gonna adapt basically now there's two versions so one of them is gonna be for the edit page and the other one is gonna be for the fusion page now on the edit page it works like these they are basically just uh generators right so all the different uh all the controls are exactly the same but you can now bring those elements by going to generators then suave and then find better shapes right here and then you can just drag this element right here and here that way you can add these on top of any like on top of your video if you want to add shapes and stuff like that because otherwise you would have to go inside fusion and then add it from there using either an adjustment layer or, or something like that now there's one little thing that i wanted to mention that here in the edit page uh you can use these controls right here but if you are used to using these viewer controls for some reason they controls themselves are a little bit offset so for some reason like if i move these I if i want to adjust it i have to do it on this section right here i'm not sure why that happens but you can also always open these in fusion and this is what it's going to look like and you know and here the actual controls are going to be normal so now they actually look like normal controls so i'm not exactly sure why that happens but that's how you can use them in the edit page now in fusion uh, let me open this Fusion Composition Wearabilities. Now, in Fusion, uh, the first time I built these, they actually did show up right here on the Elements menu. For some reason, they, they're not showing up right now. I'm going to have to look into that. For some reason, they stopped showing up there. But you can go to Templates in Fusion and Suave, and here you can find better shapes. And that way, you can just drag these, and they're going to be brought into your timeline as a group basically and then here if you want to say let's have two circles you can control c this group and control v this one and then you can have a shapes merge node and make any other adjustments that you need into this circle for example change the color i don't like that color actually but it is what it is you have there and the difference is that in the fusion ones you have to add a renderer later on right they're not going to bring the actual default render node because otherwise it's going to be a little bit more complicated now uh if you have watched the previous video of the fish animation you can go ahead and try to build it using these shapes i might make a quicker tutorial using these shapes sort of like a really quick like you want to build these do these this this and then drop it right there add these keyframes and then you're set uh, I might do that, we'll see. And then I'm gonna link that video to the longer tutorial that's a lot more detailed, right? Now, there was one little last thing that I wanted to share, which was, I'm gonna look into the reasons why this is not showing up on the menu anymore. Everything else, e oh, there it goes. All right, so forget everything that I said about not showing up in the edit page, in the, in the Fusion menu. Um, what you can do is press Control Shift and Spacebar. Now write better shapes and then you will be able to add these now the ones that have yellow are the ones that already bring a render node now you can do that and then use a multi-merge directly like i showed in the fish motion graphics animation video or you can use these ones which are the groups that do not bring the renderer in them already so if i press double click in here 
This is a group, which is a fusion better, better shapes, let's call these. And then if you do the one that has the yellow thumbnail, then this one has the render node. And the reason why I made these groups is that when they're groups, you can always go inside them and then make any adjustments that you want in here or add any other things. Like let's say you want to add transform right here, for example. And then you can move the individual outline, for example, if that is what you want to do or add a duplicate or whatever you need to add to it. So this is better shapes. I hope that it's useful for you. And yeah, it's free, obviously, because they are just normal elements. I just wanted to quickly put them together so that they work for, for me when I'm working on any other projects in the future. It's faster. And then also for you so that you can make stuff a lot more efficiently, right? I just wanted to bring all of these elements together in the same control so that it's a little bit faster to work with. So that is it, that is Better Shapes. If you wanna download it, check out the link in the description. I'm gonna link Better Shapes right there and then follow those instructions and then you should be good to go. It's a DRFX file, so double click it and it will be installed on your DaVinci Resolve and then you're good to go and to use them on your project. So make sure to watch this video right here if you want to watch the long tutorial of the fish animation. And if you want to watch something else, you can check out this other video right here. Maybe it's something that helps you out or that where you learn something new.